The potential from applying AI algorithms uh, to improve uh, the, the, pro the manufacturing productivity, but also to introduce new products, new innovations, is, is really immensely uh, huge. Artificial intelligence essentially is about um, capturing the experience of people and automating the implementation of this, this experience in, I would say, well-defined tasks. It is normal that with new technology some tasks and some jobs uh, will disappear, but the good thing is that uh, they, with artificial intelligence we can create robots who make the dirty, the dull and the dangerous jobs, which is a good thing. I think for us AI is a very important component to become or even to stay, I would say, competitive uh, in the global world. Uh, we have to implement uh, artificial intelligence uh, in our industry in order to be to stay competitive. That's, that's the main point. The problem at the moment is that the discussion is sometimes turning a little bit too much around the risks involved with uh, artificial intelligence. And um, we believe the focus now in the discussion should be on the positive things that should be an optimistic debate about that. In manufacturing, we're, we're adding value by making sure that processes are going to be optimized. Uh, I think you need to be careful in certain cases where you know certain algorithms could be making wrong uh, decisions. So you need to stay close to um, those pieces of, uh, of AI. There is a number of challenges, in particular ethical challenges that have to be addressed in terms of safety, liability, bias, quality of data, transparency of artificial intelligence and uh, we are actually working with a, a high-level expert group to address these issues and come up with a list of principles we would like companies to, to sign up to on a voluntary basis. Europe really has a lot of, of, of particular challenges here, more than other regions, as particularly coming from the fragmentation we still have in the EU, fragmentation in, in, in product markets, in services markets, also fragmentations in, in, in the labor market, access to skills is definitely also uh, too much uh, fragmented and also access to finance too, so just for us it's really very diff much more difficult as compared to some other regions to really use is the creative force of, of new uh, technologies and particularly also artificial intelligence as well. And it's particularly because we, we have much more barriers to, to create enough, quickly enough new uh, jobs, new tasks, new activities here that the destructive part gets a bit too much emphasis.